Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more A World Betrayed DLC for Total War Three Kingdoms as Yang Fong, uh, with the Make Them Unique and the uh, Faction Unlocker mods of uh, in use. So, um, <clears throat> in the last episode, we led Xu Huang's battered army to take Shenyong. Um, we used a thing I had forgotten about, which was to uh, share the spoils. Massively, massively, massively. Um, boosted our uh, replenishment quite wonderful um i could potentially do it with these chaps up here but i don't see the point right now they're just sitting there defensively um we've got three turns before they're ready you know we can wait we can wait um but the important thing is we've taken shenyong um and we're going to shift down to take shenyong weapons craftsman as well uh this has meant that we've also made shang fu our underling in charge of shenyong which is quite good and we're increasing the corruption in uh rival territory now, there are some generals I would like to pick up because Lubu has fallen, but unfortunately, I just can't afford their salaries or anything really like that right now. Um, oh my. Really? Commerce income from industry. Rather nice today. Um, we're not really going to get much commerce. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Can't afford anything else there, to be honest. Uh, so we'll wait. Um, shame, I was saving all this money to uh, pull a nice she-her, but it hasn't ended up that way. Right, let's move on to the next turn. Um, I am marginally paranoid of a Ma Chao Ma Tong type army coming out of the west in my territory. Uh, that does rather worry me. Because we are at war, and they are extremely aggressive generals uh hansway ma tong whatever when you're at war with them they make sure you know um by trying to throw armies at you but they haven't yet Hong and do is declared war against my short interesting shu gong is destroyed uh yeah i was dragged into that war coalition has become a military alliance was the one chance each wow lots of war lots of war Right. Buildings. Trades gain. Right. Assignment. Okay, we're going to need to sort some assignments. Not this turn, however. Uh, communal workshops. So, I don't have that. Private workshops. Private workshops are going to give me not a huge amount, unfortunately. Um, pop growth we don't really need. Income from industry we don't really need. This place is probably do with almost anything else in that position but it does make me money right now so i'm loath to change it up until we uh we get something that we can we can um let me get scared uh get something that we can sort of add to it with right uh this however public order prestige corrupted magistrate that uh sector blah, blah 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 search race is quite nice but it does increase corruption that has no corruption Ooh. that's rather interesting we get uh rather less research but hmm interesting very very interesting now, on this front, how many turns will it take us to get here? Oh my dear god, all day and all night, all weeks on end. Uh, right. That will speed things up a tiny bit, at least. You, my man, are costing me money. Two turn until you're up and running. <sighs> two turns, two turns. Well, hmm. This I'm pretty certain Sasa will take this. We need him up here just in case. I'm tempted. Give me one more. No, I'll give him one more turn. I will give him one more turn. 
we could get him some pretty decent troops when it comes to it here. As well, so, you know. We, we you know. That army is going to take some time to build up. They're, they're good for defending the trade port, just in case my Chao Matong throws some people there. Um, which I thought they were going to do before, but they haven't. Because they did have armies moving through Zhang Yang's territory. Um, but, hey. We will solve our monetary issues. Actually, as soon as I wipe out Zhang Ji, I could potentially... Flip straight back up to take the fight to Ma Tong. She has been forced to run a war. Uh, got the flying horses of Wu Wei. Fantastic. While other horses thunder as they gallop, these move with the gentleness of the wind. A new year begins and a new opportunity to steer your people towards their destiny. In subordination, when orders to leave the lands by a local official, your general simply answers with a laugh and orders the official imprisoned. Conviction regarding one's own actions is to be encouraged. Not at the cost of exceeding rightful authority, lest chaos surely spread. Xiao Zhuan, you bad woman. Ambushes Su Wangling. Uh, really matter. Um, okay. Let's have a look at this. There's a few things that I want, actually. Available assignment isn't necessary. Commerce and industry is quite good. Industry, commerce, construction costs quite nice and federal administrator and this will give me a lot of bonus i do actually want to head down there reduction in character salary as well i need this only four turns but i need that really um mistake not going for it earlier come on through this pass okay Zhang Ji has his army there uh we won't really need to worry about that uh, straight away. We've got one more turn. Zhang Ji wants to come out. He can. He's got Hua Yan. Right, he's a dead man. Um, not, not worried at all. We're burning money, however. Assignments. Chong, income from peasantry. Uh, where gives me the most peasantry now? 161. That's not great. Oh, that's awful. 17. Uh. Shang Yong, really. That's a shame. Um, and then here. Attrition. Top growth. Simpson replenishment. Own armies. Commandery. Mushroom turns. Uh, we are going to whack you in Luoyang. And we're going to do the attrition. Just in case people show up there. And we are burning money here. That is really not good um so ta, ta you have money you have no food i can give you food i'll give you much but i can give you some food i need regular payments hopefully you can pay me a lot he seems to be able to pay. Oh. Oh. Oh, good man. Good man. Good man. You're a wonderful friend. So that's thrown us in with a lot of money. Uh, this has been built. Does that mean we can now get rid of this and replace it with something that could actually be useful for me? Potentially. Potentially. This we're going to keep as is. Right. Move to the next turn. I'm not going to get rid of it just yet. As soon as Xu Huang moves up onto that uh, weapons cross, I mean, magnificent. All of these bloody passes you have to cross down. I mean, unless you're coming through Hanjong, down through Baxi, that's quick, but you've got to get to Hanjong first, you know? Um, I keep going on about it every time I'm in this region, but it's so well done. It just... Yeah. It just... 
you know, it, it, it really sells just what the terrain was like here. Um, ah, a joyous occasion. A daughter has been born. Fantastic. A series game. We've got an iron sickle. We? Well. You know, your good morale is pretty useful. Here, we can do with an iron sickle. That will keep you a little bit happy as well. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah. One more. And then he's not far away. That's that dealt with. Now. Big man. Um... I want you that far. I want you sort of here-ish. Can we jump 30 to 17 percent? I want him here because I just wanna Yeah. Have a look. I'm all the way up. Now we can see. Chang and Jade Mine, they have no garrison there at all. Nor does that. We might be able to take it with just that army. I don't know whether that's going to push me out too far, though. But we won't know unless we take it. Plus four corruption. I don't have a huge amount of corruption, which is quite nice. This. Administrative position. Public order. Public order's pretty good. We don't need public order. Headquarters can sod right off. We can keep that. We can keep that. Um, now, here. Ooh. White way veterans are rather nice. We have these two spearmen who I'm loath to get rid of. Got some cavalry, though I definitely need better cavalry. I'm going to get rid of these G militia probably later on. Um, certainly we'll get rid of the Sabre Militia. We're going to need them right now. Chosen the eight Immortals. That depends how punchy I want to be. Do you think we can get a couple of these boys in first? I know they're not going to be ready in time and all the rest. That's not my worry. It's just, um... I may as well. <laughs> Contract against Liu Biao. 20. Yeah, I can take that, because once I've finished with Zhang Ji, I can shift off on the river, actually. Ooh. Has Yuan Shao completely outmaneuvered Tao Tao? He has. He's completely outmaneuvered Tao Tao. I have never seen Yuan Shao do something like that. Uh, she, her, could be in trouble. And I'll be honest, Shang Yufu and his army cannot hold against Ma Chao with that many troops. Um, doesn't matter how good a general you are. Machao is one of those vanguards who just tears through your soldiers uh, super, super efficiently. You can make him break and run and all of that. He's not great at dueling, blah, 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 but, you know, still. Okay. Lots of diplomacy. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, you know, and Tao Tao formed a coalition. Interesting. Didn't see that happening friend in need. Truly dependable friends are rare gifts and should never be taken for granted. Your comrade, upon seeing you injured in battle, what, what battle? Uh, risks his own life to rescue you. They drag you through the hellish battle to safety. You never, you vow never to forget this kindness. That is touching, but where were you? Oh, shit me. Didn't mean that. Um, yeah, stay there. Uh, we don't need a wooden fish. Assignments. All right. All right. Now, uh, we can't initiate a battle. We do that. We can do, however, we shift up here. We're just going to shift to there, and we're going to go into raiding sites. We're just going to bring in some money. These guys, hopefully, we've dragged out into a fight. They have knife fool. is not going to stand up. It's not a threat. You're still. <laughs> So annoying. I, I did that. So annoyed with myself. Um, right. They're looking pretty solid on that front. On this front, do I want to switch these Archer Militia? How much they cost? 
It's 56. It's dirt cheap, though. I probably don't want to switch them. We will need some of these in the future, these big guns. We don't need it right at this moment in time. Um... Hmm. What we could do is drag in another crossbow unit. Uh... And then here, here, we do. But the Shonu Cavalry. Oh my god, yes. They're expensive, though. But I will definitely be getting some of those. Unfortunately, not right at this moment in time. I will definitely be getting some Shonu Cavalry. Shenyu Fu can command the Shonu thing. Shonu, for those of you who don't know, uh, were northern uh, nomadic tribe. You had. They were, at one stage, the major nomadic threat to the north of China. Um, but they were defeated by a general called Dou Xin in... Ah, uh, the date fails me, it escapes me, but it was sometime... Let's say between sort of 50 CE and 100 CE, I believe. Uh, Dou Xin led a force north to fight them. Um, and there was a lot of court politics involved in that. And, and Dou Xin's means of, of actually leading the attack against the Xiongnu uh, made him many, many enemies in court. And he also sort of bankrupted China um, in the process of, of leading this attack. But he was successful and he smashed the Xiongnu, defeated them. And that allowed for the rise of the Wuhan and the Xianbei. The Wuhan are sort of over here and the Xianbei are sort of up here. Um, but the Xianbei are pushing south, the Wuhan are pushing south. Xiongnu, there's the southern Xiongnu and the northern Xiongnu. The southern Xiongnu are sort of vassal state of the Han. Um, and they're sort of based in this Xihe region, a lot of them. Um, and they were used as mercenaries. The Chang River Regiment as well is based off the Xiongnu uh, troops. Um, and Chang River Regiment, of course, is the cavalry regiment that Cao Chun was an officer in, and he's the guy who formed the Tiger and Leopard Cavalry, which was supposed to be an improvement on the Chang River Regiment Cavalry. So yeah, they're, they're interesting uh, tribal uh, group, a uh, nomadic tribal group. Um, a lot of suggestions as well that they are the same people that uh, were the Huns um, for us in the West. Uh, that uh, you know Attila the Hun attacked the Roman Empire and all the rest um, and there is um, a fantastic historical book called Barbarians at the Wall uh, which which talks about it um, I forget the author John Mann I think absolutely brilliant they found graves for some Xiongnu leaders and you know it's incredible the culture the history they had they were a serious people but after Doshin beat them their power was destroyed but it didn't take away from the fact they had some of the best cavalry around in China at that time. And it was their tactics that really forced China um, and the Han, because it was the Han when it really happened, the early Han, uh, the Western Han rather than the Eastern Han, um, where it forced the Eastern Han to move away from using chariots as the main uh, shop and support lines for their armies to using cavalry. You know, they, they were... They were immensely important to the battle tactics that you see now from the Chinese armies and why cavalry became king. Uh, that's all because of the wars against the Xiongnu and the threat they posed. Anyway, enough history. Let's move on. I want to see where Ma Chao's moving. It's starting to lose money again. Hmm... Okay, Jiang Yang is moving his armies. Ma Chao looks like he's taken, or is in the process of taking. It looks like it's taken to me. Right. Lots of peace, lots of war, blah, 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 blah. The usuals going on. Ambushes, diplomacy. We have now our assignment, uh, Han Yue. We want her in uh, industry. So where's this industry? 318. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and you, uh, you can do your 30% industry, please. I'll bring in some more money. Right. Now. Challenge Jade Mine. 
Let's do this. Um, so I'm going to fight this because I want to minimize my losses. Which is usually what I say before I go and do something really stupid in a battle and lose more troops than had I delegated it. But I, um, I want to minimize my losses, take the Jade Mine, and then see if we can uh, bounce on towards Chang'an and take the former capital as well. If we take Chang'an, uh, then we will really have got Ma Chao's attention. So this army hopefully will have got some veterancy and we would have been able to legendary up at least one of the other two commanders. We only have Shane Fu uh, as legendary right at this moment in time. Right, everybody back for a second. Let's, uh, let's have a quick look at these white wave veterans and the Chu infantry. But with veterans, look to me just like Sabre infantry uh with uh, a slightly different outfit and the two spearmen you're properly heavily up okay we don't have enough shield that's our weakness here you chaps can go and loose though you don't have fire arrows which is a bit of shame you chaps can also go and loose uh yeah we don't need that either you are sassy steel but you're gonna go nuts on people which is fantastic uh, we have our Nameless Cavalry. Let's have a uh, look at this Nameless Cavalry as well. I don't recognise what they are. We have Force Archers and Sabre. They are, to me, they look, you know, I mean, I love the detailing of shields. To me, they look like... Um, I don't know why they're not carrying their shield. Yeah, they look like uh, Sabre Cavalry with bows. I mean, effectively... Um, oh, crap, what are their names? You know, the uh, White Horse Riders. Basically, what they look like to me, they're probably Xiongnu Bowmen or something. Uh, of course, uh, Arch or something like that, I would have thought. Right. You chaps. I've become... Um, nothing doing on that. Right, you and you, over here. Axe, axe, GG. Up, one, two, three, four. Uh, let us shoot the living snot out of them, please. Um, you boys go take there. You boys just advance up there. I know this isn't really best i'm keeping these guys uh shield wall just for a second it's not a permanent fixture um my aim is i want these towers to start shooting at anything other than them and then we're going to break open the uh shield wall and yeah, now they start to fix, not fixate on my guys here and then we're going to push up but all of you guys almost there go right now Shameful. What do we have here? We have Sabre Militia. So, off you pop. You chaps here. Uh, swords out. Good. Sabre Militia are doing their thing, which is relatively normal. White Wave Veterans. Go on, just push straight up there. Ignore them. Axe, axe and axe. Go, go, go. Gen Infantry Captain will create some trouble. We don't need to worry too much about that. You can rush forward. Okay, done. Go, 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 go. Charge, charge, charge. Chain Fu, Pop Roar of the Beast. Uh, guys, advance. Go. Spearman, go, 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 go. Up. Just push. Don't. Stop now, just push. Charge. Uh, you boys. Epic job. Keep killing. Chain Fu has definitely got that. She's right through. No, 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 no. Back, 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 back. Back. Take this so we stop losing casualties. Uh, rain arrows in. Come on. Take, 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 take. 
We have got to have got it now, surely. He's got them. They're pinned. These guys are shifting up. Right, white wave and white wave. Rush in. You chaps, rush in. You and you are coming this way. Axes are going this way. You're going this way. Excellent job. Right. Up you come. Uh, go. You. I think you can just go kill, please, if you don't mind. Up you come. Keep marching up. Uh, you. Go chase. Form you right there so we can take this territory without losing too much. You chaps coming back. Brilliant job. Um, yeah, some arch militias running. That's fine. They're allowed to. He smashed right in there. Let's have Roar of the Beast. That's going to shit them up just a little bit. They're running. Game over. And I think, yeah, we can. We can. We absolutely can. Chase. Okay, so I am going to do a little bit of chase now because um, we now have captured everything else. If we hadn't captured everything else, I wouldn't be doing it. But if we can chase these guys down, get some kills in here. She's got 47. She's got 71. He's going to get a chunk for in a second. Um, but the idea being, chase down here. Uh, if we start to get a lot of these guys captured and killed, uh, mounted save militia, if you wouldn't mind hunting them. Nah, do you know what? Come in here. Get these ones. Just kill. Then uh, we should get a little bit of a level up. Um, or at least get a, a little bit more experience to get as close to a level up, which is what we want. Just speed it up. We don't need to spend too much time over this. But I'm hoping, you know, Chong Wen Yan and uh, Xiao Zhuan just more good. <laughs> basically that's what we want we want more good there's 20 of them left these guys are dying massively quickly they've got to rush through all of my force there i'll be amazed if more than a handful get out of that press alive um yeah they're, they're dead they're dead how are you you got 71 you got 13 that's not bad you got 103 Right, we'll claim that there then. Sixty-three left. Yeah, we did pretty well. We lost a few archers, unfortunately. Uh, White Wave veterans lost a few. But we're there. Uh, we will occupy. Got the jade mine. Be a little bit happier now, a little bit more secure with our situation. Down here, this is where it uh, gets interesting. Don't want to loot. Weapons craftsman, what do you have? You don't really have much. Let's do this. Close defeat, fight night battle, just to help me. Quick save, and we're gonna starve out so they have us or do we want to fight? We want them to come to us. So, starve out. Having a look at that map. If they were trapped behind walls and stuff like that, I'd fight them. I had the advantage. Oh dear god. That is not good. That is really not good. Um, we'll lose Shenyong if he comes in there. Yeah, we could be in a world of poo. We can't get back quickly. Let's hope he turns around and fights who's this tyrant. Yeah, let's hope he... I mean, that's not a great army. You get absolutely mauled. Camp crushers. That's the worry here. These guys are brutal. Um. Okay. Well. Nothing. Nothing I can do about it. 
Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, next episode, we're going to fight this, uh, see if we can take Shenyong. Then I'm going to have to rush this army straight back to the city. Uh, Shenyong Fu is going to see if we can push on to Chang'an City. Chang'an City doesn't look particularly well defended, so this should be uh, a pretty safe option for uh, conquest. But I'm going to need some uh, solid siege weaponry to take it down. Anyway... I will uh, leave it here, and I look forward to seeing you next time for more Total War. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.